Hello guys, welcome back to Statistical Academy and I wish you a very happy new year. In this video we will learn importing an excel file using a procedure, exploration of data using procedures, filtering observations. Please find the link for example file below in the description. We are in the last part of accessing data. You can use the XLSX library engine to read and write excel data directly. But you may prefer to import a copy of your excel data as a SAS dataset. You can use PROC import procedure to accomplish this. Let us look at the excel file first. We have an excel workbook named ABC study data with 6 worksheets. Demographics, vitals, physical examination, laboratory data, treatment data, disposition data. I have uploaded this file to one of my folders on SAS studio. And now I am going to run this program. Output dataset has been created and the dataset has 826 observations and 14 variables. Let's look at the program. The data file equal to value should have the path and file name. As we were giving for in file statement, the same way we should give here. The DBMS option differences the XLSX. DBMS stands for the database management system. For example, our Excel file has extension XLS like Excel 5.0, 1995, 2000, 2002. Spreadsheets have file formats XLS. Then we should give XLS. So DBMS option values are depending on the file formats. Some examples are XLS, CSV, Excel, Access, etc. And DBMS option should not be separated by semicolon. It should be continued in PROC import statement. And we use the OUT equal to option in order to provide the name of the SAS dataset that we want to create. Here we are creating the dataset VITALS. Finally, REPLACE option. If I run this program more than once and the VITALS import dataset already exists will be simply replaced. PROC import can read only one spreadsheet at a time. And by default, it reads the first worksheet. In our case, we wanted to read vitals. So you can use the sheet equal to option to tell SAS which worksheet you want to read from the workbook. So what's the difference between using the XLSX libname engine and PROC import to read Excel data in a SAS program? The XLSX libname engine reads data directly from the Excel file. So the program that references the Excel library will always use the current data. PROC import creates a copy of the excel file that is a snapshot in a time until the PROC import step runs again. Now we can access data and ready to explore it. Exploration of data includes checking the names of variables and their types, also evaluation of data to drop or add some variables. We might look at the data for incorrect or inconsistent values. Here we will learn procedures that provide insights about our data. Also we will learn to subset data to focus on a particular segment. Very next step to make sure right after accessing the data is to understand it. We can use PROC contents to view the descriptor portion of the dataset. And we can visually scan the dataset to see the data portion. But datasets are often too large for manual visual review. SAS procedures will help us to explore the data easily and quickly. The print procedure creates a listing of all observations and variables in the dataset. The means procedure calculates simple summary statistics for numeric variables in the data. The default statistics are frequency count, mean, standard deviation, minimum and maximum. From this report we can see if there are missing values and we can see the range of values which might indicate invalid values. The univariate procedure also generates summary statistics but it includes more detailed statistics related to distribution. The report also includes the 5 lowest and highest extreme values and their observation numbers. The freak procedure creates a frequency table for each variable in the input dataset. The results include the unique values for the variable along with their frequency, percent and cumulative frequency and percent. This procedure can help to find problems in the data like miscoded values or case inconsistencies. Let us write programs for print, means, univariate and freak procedures. First we will write print procedure. 
A data set we wanted to look at is the laboratory data which is in raw data library. So I'll use the data equal to option and provide the data set name. Remember by default proc print will list all of the observations in the data set. I would like to include just a subset to get a glance at the first 20 observations. So I will use the ops equal to option and give 20 over here. I'll submit the proc print step and here is the listing of our first 20 observations. It also includes all variables in the data set. So let's go back to the code and now I am going to add a var statement to limit the variables included in the report. So I start with the keyword var and then if I know my variable names well, I can certainly just list them here like subject id, lb test and so on. However, a really great shortcut in SAS Studio allows us to populate those variable names by just clicking on them. I will delete the subject id and lb test and ensure that my cursor is in the place where I wanted to insert the variable names. And then I will come over to the libraries panel. In the raw data library, I will expand the laboratory data. I can see all of the variables listed here. If I hold down my control key and I can select the variables in the order I wanted to add them to the program. So I will choose the subject id holding down the control key lb date, lb test, result lb range and category then i can simply click and drag into my program and wherever my cursor was those variables are added in the order that i selected them and end the statement with a semicolon to document my program i will also add a comment before the step to explain what we are doing to make it comment i'll highlight the text and press ctrl slash let us run this step and we have first 20 observations of the data set also we have now limited the variables and changed the order in the report. So remember the point of this procedure is to validate our data. So as we look at the data what can we observe? We notice that there are some missing values for LB range. We can see some case inconsistencies with the LB test. We also have some missing values for result. So that's interesting to observe first 20 observations of the data set. We will now go back to the code and complete remaining procedures. Well, what else we can do to validate our data? We can use other procedures as well. I would like to compute summary statistics. So I am going to use proc means procedure and the data set is vitals and I would like the entire data set to be analyzed. So I am not using obs equal to option. The var statement in proc means lists the variables that we want to analyze. I wanted to analyze sysbp, dibp and pulse. The variables on the var statement should be numeric. I will add a comment to explain this step as well. And I will run the proc means. So here we can look at the basic summary statistics for these numeric variables. We have a frequency count. Actually we have 826 observations in the data set. But these numbers are different means. There is one missing value for the sysbp. 2 missing values for the dibp and 3 missing values in the pulse variable. We might want to look at the minimum and maximum to see if those ranges appear valid. You can see minus 1 for sysbp is invalid value. We will not get the value even if the person is dead. And you can see 1144 maximum value. What? That might not be a heart. That could be an electric pump it seems. Definitely this is an invalid value. You can also see minimum and maximum values for dibp and pulse. So in the real time, if you find invalid values like this, you can consider reporting to the data management team. Now we will see univariate procedure. I will copy and paste the proc means and change the means to univariate. Proc univariate also computes the summary statistics, but it also gives the five extreme low and high values. I still wanted to analyze the same numeric variables on the var statement sysbp, dibp and pulse. So I will add a comment for this step and we will run the program. Although the output for proc univariate includes several other statistics, I am going to scroll down to concentrate on the extreme observations table. So here we can see the observation number and the value for the low and high sysbp values. Scrolling down a bit further, we have the report for diabetes and if we go further, we will find the report for pulse as well. 
so that gives us more insights about the dataset finally let's go back to the code and add one more procedure this time we will write proc freak and instead of var statement we are going to use a table statement and on the table statement i wanted to list the variables for which i wanted to generate one way frequency reports lb test category i will add a comment and we will submit the step we noticed in proc print that we saw we had case inconsistent values for lb test specifically for hemoglobin the frequency report indicates we have two observations in the entire data set that have inconsistent values we may need to correct them later on and for category we don't have any inconsistent values so this is a great start these processes give us the insights about our data to correct or to report the inconsistent values what if we only wanted to filter the observations that appear in a proc print report what if we only wanted to calculate summary statistics for a subset of the data based on a condition for example from this data set we would like to filter the records with age greater than or equal to 14 for this we can use powerful and flexible where statement to subset our data the where statement can be used in proc print means freak univariate and many others the where statement consists of the keyword where followed by one or more expressions an expression tests the value of a variable against a condition that we specify first let's look at the expression that use basic operators we can use any of these operators to compare the value of a variable to a value that we specify the expression evaluates as true or false for each observation we can use either the symbol or letters to represent these operators in an expression when we specify a value keep in mind that character values are case sensitive and must be enclosed in double or single quotes numeric values are not enclosed in quotation marks and must be standard numeric values in other words we cannot include special symbols such as commas or dollar signs what about comparing the value of a variable to a date remember that dates are stored as numeric values so the expression is evaluated based on a numeric comparison if we wanted to compare a date variable to a fixed date we type the date using a particular notation and sas turns the string we provide into a numeric equivalent to evaluate the expression this notation is called sas date constant and it has a one or two digit day a three letter month and a two or four digit year enclosed in quotation marks followed by the letter d we can combine multiple expressions with the keywords end or in a where statement in this example code any rows that meet these two conditions are included in the proc print result In this example the or keyword is used to provide multiple values notice that each condition must include name equal to this can be tedious if there are several valid values that we want to include a more efficient approach in this scenario is to use the in operator to compare to a list of values after typing the variable name we use the keyword in and in parenthesis list the values separated by commas or spaces the in operator works with both numeric and character values just keep in mind that character values are case sensitive and must be enclosed in the quotation marks we can also take advantage of the keyword not to reverse the logic of the in operator we will write different where expressions to filter the data i'll start by writing the proc print statement to read the vitals data set So let's say we would like to print only those observations where systolic blood pressure is lower than 90. This represents low BP. I'll start by typing a where keyword and then the variable name sys BP and lower than or equal to and just the numeric constant 90. Because it is a numeric variable, we don't code the value. I'll run that program. And in our output, we can see that all of the values for sys BP are lower than 90. see these values are very less it seems these values indicate data issue we may consider reporting to the data management team another helpful thing is to point out is in the log it will tell us exactly how many observations met the criteria that was provided in the where statement i'll go to the program this time i'll change the where statement 
Let's say I only wanted to see the observations where study visit is visit 1. I'll change the where expression to name the variable study visit. Just use the equal sign and then quote visit 1 quote. A couple of things to remember with the character constant is first thing the value is needed to be quoted either double or single. I'll run this program and look at the variable study visit. The other critical thing to remember is that character values are case sensitive. For example, in the quotes, if I keep in capitals visit 1 and then run, see 0 observations. So we will change as it is in the data set V capital and remaining smaller case. So next, if I wanted to look at both visit 1 and visit 2, then in parenthesis, I'll list the different visits. Again, remember the case sensitivity and quotes. You can separate the values with either a space or a comma. And in the results, we can see study visit is now having both visits. If I look in the log, it does indicate that there were 787 observations where study visit was either visit 1 or visit 2. What about on filtering dates? Remember, this is where we need to use the SAS date constant. So I'd like to include all of those observations where VS date is on or after January 31st, 2022. So I'll use the greater than or equal to operator and then provide the SAS date constant. So in quotes, I provide the date in the form of 31 numeric day, the three letter month Jan and the two or four digit year 2022. Close the quotes and follow with the letter D. The SAS date constant will be converted to the number of days from the January 1st, 1960 in order to evaluate our where expression. I'll submit the program and it looks like our VS date are all after January 31st, 2022. What about a compound expression? We can do that as well. So in my where statement, I would like to include those observations where time point is equal to 2 hours post dose or 4 hours post dose. And VS date is on or after 31st January 2022. I'll submit this program. And here we go. Time point is 2 hours post dose or 4 hours post dose. And VS date is on or after January 31st 2022. So that's interesting to filter the observations as per our requirement. Let's talk about some special where operators that you can use in expressions. Suppose you wanted to filter your data by missing values. As you can see here in this example, there are some missing values for VS time, SysBP, DiBP and time point. You could write an expression where variable is equal to a period for a numeric missing value or a space enclosed in quotation marks for a character missing value. But a simpler option is to use the is missing or is not missing special operator. This code can be used for either numeric or character missing values. The between end operator is handy for numeric ranges. The endpoints of the ranges are inclusive. Finally, like operator enables us to do pattern matching. The percent symbol is a wildcard for any number of characters. In this example, the percent sign after good returns any string after good including spaces and letters. Whenever if you get some doubt, please feel free to mail us on the mail id that is mentioned in the about section of this channel. It will help us to improve.